All right, now we've got our rail cleaned up. We've also cleaned the same area on the pan for the gasket mounting. Here we have our new filter. We have the O-ring. I'm just going to take some of this oil here, lubricate the O-ring. And we're going to push it, push the filter up into place. There we go. All the way up until that white flange seats the filter straight, seated on the back side here. That's all set. Now we're ready to place the pan on. All right, now I've got my pan. I've cleaned up the inside of the pan and the gasket mounting surface. I've also cleaned the magnet. I'm going to get the pan up into place. Now the filter kit comes with new bolts. We're going to use the new bolts. I'm using a magnetic tray here. Put it through, line the pan up, get one bolt started, and let's go over to the other corner, get another bolt started. Okay, now we'll just continue around and we'll get all of the bolts in place. We're not going to tighten them yet, we're just going to run them down finger tight all the way around. We have all of the bolts in place. These are run down so they're just beginning to be snug all the way around. I'm now going to torque them to spec, uh, which on this is 15 foot-pounds for this particular application. These figures are in the Bentley repair manual for your specific model. And uh, I'm going to use a generally an outward winding spiral to do the tightening so the stress on the pan works out toward the edges. So we'll just start here. This isn't critical, the pattern you use. So we'll go down. There's that one. And we'll just go across and keep doing this in our outward running spiral. Okay, and here's our last one coming around. All right. Okay, now before we begin to fill, I'm going to remove this standard drain plug. I'm going to replace it with our Super Duty magnetic drain plug. This has a neobnium uh, magnet and it's extremely strong and it's not affected by temperature. This will help pull out even more of the magnetic materials that uh, wear materials in addition to the factory magnet that's right here. So first we'll just remove the drain plug. There we go, all set. All right, now our fill plug is right here. That's the Torx, female Torx, same as the drain plug. And we'll remove the fill plug. We'll just uh, set that in our magnetic tray here. Now, we're going to use our fluid pump to get the fluid in the transmission. This is our uh, fluid transfer pump. We will draw the fluid out of our container and pump it into the pan. So let's get to that. All right, now, as we noted, we're ready to go for the fill here. We have our fluid transfer pump and the proper fluid for this transmission. This is the Taximatic 7045E. This is what's spec'd as original fluid for this transmission. Additionally, this transmission, this is a 2528i, this transmission can use the Lifeguard 5 uh, ZF transmission fluid that we now carry as well. We're going to put the Taximatic in on this one. So we open the bottle, and all this will be, I won't show you on camera because it's down low, but we'll insert the tube into the bottle. We will pull the plunger out to suck fluid into the can, and then we'll push the plunger in to put it in the transmission. You'll be able to see that part. Okay, now we've got uh, fluid in. This holds half a liter. 
Put the hose up in the transmission. Push the fluid out. And we'll pull the fill hose out and go for another fill. And as you can see, this is nice bright red fluid. Remember what the other fluid looked like. It looked like dirty motor oil. And we'll do this until the fluid starts running out of the fill hole, just as we would for a manual transmission or a differential. We'll fill it until it's up to the level of that fill hole. And uh, now I'm going to go slow just in case it actually is full. No, oh, it's still taking fluid. Okay, there we go. Now we're full. Now, this is just the first stage of fill, and I have my drain pan underneath that because I knew that was going to come out like that. Now we're going to temporarily insert our fill plug. Now the next stage is we start the engine, run the transmission through the gears, put it back in park, leave the engine running, pull the plug again, and we'll be able to fit, fit in between another half quart and a quart of fluid. So we'll get to that next. Okay, now we have the engine running. It's warmed up. We've uh, been running it for a few minutes. We have the transmission in park right now. We ran the transmission through all the gears with the brake on. Put it back in park. So it's running in park right now. We're going to do our final fluid fill. We will uh, remove the fill plug. Okay, we're going to come into one more fresh bottle here. Should be just about full. Normally it takes between a quart and a quart and a half to finish filling when we have the engine running. So far we've put just over an extra quart into this compared to our uh, first fill with the engine not running. I think we're just about there. Looks like that uh, actually with it drooling out I'm gonna I'm going to put just a little bit in again to verify that but uh, pretty much looks like we're full. That's definitely full. Let's get our fill plug back in. And we'll tighten that down. And now this job is complete. We're all set. You're ready to go for another 30 to 50,000 miles. Thanks for watching. I'll tell you what, if you like this video, please tell us so. Hit your like button, as well as send us some comments. Tell us how we're doing. We look forward to the next video with you. And with that, happy motoring.